Right, uh, my favourite moss isn't actually a moss, it's a little uh, wart. And that sounds absolutely awful, but that's what it's called. Now, there's uh, different names for this. It's uh, Most people call it Minipelia, some people call it coral moss. Uh, I can see why you'd call it a coral moss as well, of course, of the way it actually looks like green coral. It's absolutely beautiful and stunning once it fully grows out. So I try not to jerk the camera around too much. There we go. Now that's the moss wall I made a few months ago and it's slowly growing out. Um, hopefully soon to be covering the whole thing, which is going to look great. Now this grows very, very slowly and you've got to really keep an eye on algae build up, hair algae, um, I found a toothpick, not a toothpick, uh, chopsticks work well if you've got hair algae in there, just stick it into the hair algae and twist it. Um, the actual moss itself is kind of brittle, it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not as soft or sort of pliable as any of the other mosses. Um, I am still going to keep, keep calling it a moss so that's probably going to irritate some people. How I attach it is many different ways. On this stuff, we tied it on with a string. This one was originally done with um, super glue. There we go. You still see the tiny bit of super glue down and where it didn't take. Um, also, the blue bees love it, and I love the blue bees as well. But that's uh, not what we're here to discuss. Anyway. And at the top here, I'm trying to do this smooth without making everyone feel nauseous. If this is how you attach it on. Then it slowly grows out. Um, to this sort of stuff. And there's a beautiful moss. Uh, I know I've said it several times, but yeah, it really is my favorite one. I've got another moss wall on the back wall on the back of this tank slowly growing out and there we go so yeah that is my top favorite moss which isn't the moss thanks for watching